if we move along to the next subject, which is a big one, and I actually had this recently where I was around a table with a bunch of people and at least half of them had this procedure. So, and they said, okay, so I've had a root canal. What do I do now? <laughs> it's so funny because I get the same question all the time because I'm informing you about root canals. Yes, again, there is a solution for you guys. Don't freak out. A root canal works for biting. A root canal is an acute pain treatment and all the dentists that help you with it they're actually not to blame. It's a very skilled craftsman fine art that you need to get you guys out of acute pain. It's actually on you that you let your teeth rot that way. So first of all, you now have a root canal. You know that it's maybe toxic and that is not something that we use long term. What we do is an immediate ceramic implant. Immediate means we take out, really, we take out an infected tooth even with a huge cyst but we have a special protocol where we basically prepare our patient at least two to four weeks prior to, to the surgery with the right nutrients to boost this immune, their immune systems so that you come in like not in hibernation mode, but fully in anabolic mode, so to speak. And then locally or in surgery, we use everything, intravenous nutrition, hyperbaric oxygen, low-level laser therapy, whatever you can imagine from health optimization or biohacking, we will use to help. And locally in the socket, when we take out the tooth, we will use ozone. We will draw blood to spin it and make PRP membranes. We clean as perfectly as possible, use neurotherapy. But then if that socket is clean and the cyst is gone and all acute inflammation is gone, everything is basically clean and sterile from the ozone, then it makes sense to put something into that socket, which we call in dentistry socket preservation. But we do socket preservation 3.0 using an immediate ceramic implant, which then acts a, like a tent post that with a neutral biomaterial that keeps that socket, the anatomy, intact. Because if you don't use it after taking out the tooth, you lose it. But why not put something in there which is totally neutral and help that anatomy? And now, finally, after 10 years of doing this, the studies we're doing are catching up, and it shows that we're actually preserving bone height and width with it. So within the next 10 years, this will be the gold standard because you actually help the body heal and recover way faster. There's never really a surgery, but it's never about the implant. It's about getting you in health first. And then we use bio biomaterials like a ceramic implant, which is a zirconia implant, just as a tool. Would you That's ever your body? Yeah. Would you recommend people get a 3D cone scan prior to this? Or are you just going and saying, listen, there's always ah. an opportunity for infection. So let's just attack it even without the cone scan. Or do you do both? Both, both, both. So first of all, obviously, we use logic. I always ask three questions to the patients or everyone, actually. Any metals in your mouth? Any root canals? Stand up. Any removed wisdom teeth? Stand up. And usually if you answer with a yes, there's ongoing chronic inflammation in your body, in your mouth that interferes. So what we do is if you want to become a patient, you always apply online remotely because most patients fly in from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And we need not a cone beam scan, not the three-dimensional one, but we need a current up-to-date panoramic x-ray, the mm -hmm. two-dimensional one where we can see all stuff, metal root canal cavitations, I and see. plan. We always plan the full case, no metals, no root canals, no cavitations. When in the office then, like when you come to the clinic on the first day, obviously we do the perfect examination. So everything up until that point was preliminary, right. but with a, let's say 90 plus right direction. And then obviously we use a cone beam scan to really see it three dimensional. And if you look at studies, but also from just experience and look on a cone beam scan on like on the tip of the root of um, root canal treated teeth, there's always an inflammation, at least in 90% of all cases, always. It's always a dead body part. So let's say this. If you have an immune system, there is a chronic inflammation. Otherwise, your immune system is like not working properly. Right. Otherwise, something else is a big problem. Yeah. <laughs> you got to look at True, true. Cell really danger. <laughs> Cell danger, man. <laughs>